I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And in this El Salvador travel vlog, we'll answer the question, how expensive is travelling in El Salvador? So firstly, you might be asking, well, why travel to El Salvador? Well, we absolutely loved our nine days in El Salvador. We found the country to be one of the hidden gems in Central America. Even though it's got a reputation for being a dangerous country, it's actually cleaned up its act a lot in the last few years, and we found it to be a very safe place to visit. Yeah, the people were extremely welcoming and warm, and there's so much natural beauty to experience in El Salvador. And if you love being one of the only tourists around, this really is a must-visit destination. So we're going to break down all our expenses over the nine days of our trip in El Salvador for you, and we'll start with accommodation. Our cost per person per night worked out to be a bit over $13 US, and the range of accommodation options per room per night was between $20 and $30 for us. And we stayed in a combination of hostels and hotels. Yeah, so you will find that dorm accommodation tends to be around five to 15 US dollars per bed per night. Mid-range accommodation for a room is around 15 to 50 US dollars per night. And for luxury accommodation, expect to pay around 60 to 250 US dollars per night. So our next category is food. And one of the great things about El Salvador is how cheap it is to eat in El Salvador. So for us, our cost per day for eating out were under $9 per person per day. And also to keep the cost down for us, we also supplemented it with groceries from time to time, just fruit, veggies, and some bread. And the cost was under 50 cents per day as well. So very cheap. So you'll find that if you get street food, you can find street food for around 50 cents to $1.50 per serving. And for the street food, when you're in El Salvador, you have to try pupusas. Oh uh, yeah, it's the national dish of El Salvador and we got addicted to them. They're a, a flatbread with fillings inside and they're just delicious. Yeah, and so cheap. So you'll find them for around 50 cents to a dollar, depending on how many fillings you have and the location. Chicken tamales is another street food you must try when you're in El Salvador. Yeah, so if you go to a local eatery, expect to pay around $2.50 to $5 per person. Yeah, and when you're in certain areas, there are weekend food fairs or uh, feria gastronomicas. So mm. when we were in Huayua, there's a big, massive fair every weekend and the food is just amazing. You get these massive plates of meat or prawns or fish. Vegetables. Vegetables are oh, yeah. so delicious and only $5. It's just such great value. Mm. And if you decide to go to a cafe or restaurant, then expect to pay around five to 10 US dollars per person. Next category is transport. So we were amazed at how cheap it was to get around in El Salvador, especially if you take the local uh, public bus system. Yeah, so you can get a public bus for around one or two dollars per person for a ride. And we averaged, how much was it, like a dollar fifty? Yeah, it was, it was around a dollar. Uh, so it was really cheap per trip. Depending on how far you go, the, the rule of thumb would probably be like one dollar for every hour that you travel. Mm. Yeah, and most of our trips were no more than two hours. Yeah, and the local buses are just so fun to go on as well. They're old US school buses that are brightly colored. They've been painted all different types of colors. You often see things like ducks and chickens on board. And yeah, it's just a really vibrant local experience. Oh, for sure. Now it can be a little bit crowded at times, but you know, that's all part of the experience. Now, if you don't like the idea of going on a, a local bus, there are private shuttles that you can book through booking agencies or your hostel or hotel. They range between 30 US dollars to 70 US dollars, depending on the location that you're going to. But you'll be able to go to most major tourist destinations in the country. And there's also inter-country shuttles as well. So we took a shuttle from Antigua, Guatemala to El Tunco Beach. And that was really cheap. That was around 17 US dollars per person. Yeah, so really inexpensive. Yeah. 
and there are some great activities to do in El Salvador and they're so cheap as well. We did activities for generally around 25 US dollars per person and that included things like private surf lessons in, on El Tunco Beach, it included canyoning tour, rappelling down waterfalls. Oh, that was crazy. So <laughs> yeah. that was that was in Hua Yua as well. And we've created a video of, on that experience if you're interested. That's amazing. That was only $22 per person as well. Yeah, and we did a zip lining canopy tour that was $30 US dollars per person. And that was so much fun as well. And there's plenty of free activities to do in El Salvador as well, like going to the beach and checking out the local markets. So finally, other things that you need to be mindful of when you're visiting El Salvador. So in terms of border costs, the great thing to note is that if you're crossing by land into or out of El Salvador, there's no cost at all. So that's great. We visited El Salvador uh, via the land borders. Now, if you are flying into the country, we believe that there are some additional costs uh, that you'll have to pay. So there's a 10 to $12 fee that you pay at the airport when you arrive. And then there's also a $32 fee that should be included in your ticket when you depart the country. We're not 100% sure on that. That's what we've researched. So if you have experienced this, then please let us know in the comments. And another thing, if you're traveling during COVID is the El Salvador COVID requirements. Now, there are no COVID entry requirements for El Salvador. You don't need a COVID test. You don't need any vaccinations in order to enter the country. If you do need a COVID test to go on to your next country, then a PCR test will cost 90 to 100 US dollars and an antigen test will cost 20 to 25 US dollars. Yeah, and there are plenty of locations where you can get those tests throughout El Salvador. So putting all those expenses together, it turned out that our nine day trip to El Salvador cost us only a bit over $600 or a bit under $35 per person per day. So it's a very affordable destination. And if you want to know more about traveling to El Salvador, we've got a destination guide on our website, jjbucketlisttravelers.com. We've got a couple of other El Salvador videos on our YouTube channel. And if you would like to follow us on our bucket list journey to get to 100 countries, then make sure you subscribe. We are Bucket List Travelers. See you next time.